and that's it I'm out walking into camp now got a little way to go uh, as I film this Dawn Kieran is approximately 150 to 200 miles offshore uh, and we're expecting landfall and uh, heavy winds and rain to uh, to hit this area uh, around about three hours time about nine o'clock this evening uh, maybe a bit later than that not much though um, it's an ideal opportunity for me to get out and uh, test some gear I'm hoping to go away to do some um, solo uh, mountain camps uh, in a near in the very near future so I want to test my equipment and I've uh, brought with me my Helm Compact 1 uh, Terra Nova tent so I'll be using that and apparently it's, and many people like that tent and probably one or two don't like it but that's the tent I'm using this evening um, I'll be by the time I get to the campsite it's going to be dark so I'll be uh, pitching up in the dark that'll be a good test as well um, yeah Storm Kieran it's one of the uh, named storms that we get a lot of storms in the UK this time of year about every week or two we get something rolling in uh, and um, well it's just marvellous isn't it to come out and uh, experience nature and the fury of a storm uh, first hand but I'm not going to be pitching anywhere stupid it's going to be a low level camp so I'm going to be uh, relatively safe although they are predicting up to 60 mile per hour gusts uh, in this area so uh, yeah it'd be a test um, I did manage to get out earlier I've had, some, I've had some lovely dog walks the light has been terrific with the, the clouds and the low angle of sunlight and uh, walking through the woodlands been very very nice recently uh, with all the, the leaves beginning to fall off the trees now and uh, I was also able to get some uh, preliminary um, time-lapse videos of uh, of the clouds as they as they scud by car we've had such a lot of rain such a lot of rain uh, every, everywhere is is so wet anyway yeah uh, let's just get walking into the to the campsite to the location where I'm going to be wild camping tonight Well, I've, uh, I've pegged the footprint out now, but I've put it on a bit of a high spot because there's a bit of standing water down here and there's standing water at the back there. So hopefully I'll be lying about here. So I should be all right, fingers crossed.
That's uh, that one. I think next week when I'm on the mountains it's going to be a lot potentially a lot more difficult than this because at the moment Storm Kieran hasn't hit it's still uh, a few hundred, or a hundred mile away or so but uh, tomorrow morning I'll be um, tomorrow morning I'll be striking camp in heavy rain and strong wind so that's going to be a challenge anyway there's two more guys to put up Around the pole for strength. Apparently, you can do that. Where did you put all the head up? can be moved a bit more out I think and that one there pulled tight oh. I'm one peg short I really need to have this guide one peg short well the wind's going to come from that direction so Hopefully I'll be all right. It's, uh, it's little pre-run tests like that, you know, that I've, I've learned that I'm a peg short in the bag. So I'm glad I've come out because when I go on my, uh, on my uh, adventure in a week or two up onto the mountains, I'll be able to add a few more pegs into the bag so I'll be covered. But I think I'm going to be okay because most of the wind's going to come from over this direction here. So just that, that one peg at the back being slack shouldn't be too bad, but uh, I don't like it being like that, but uh, we'll see. I managed to get a piece of wood from a tree and uh, round it into the ground. It's quite secure now. accommodation for tonight.
well, we're still uh, into autumn weather and uh, we're in sort of plus seven at the moment uh, so I'm going to go with me three season OEX Evolution sleeping bag I've used this quite a lot I think it's a very good bag actually and it's good value for money as well it's not an expensive bag and yeah it's done me very well I think if you were to uh, use maybe um, yeah, some uh, good clothing you could probably stretch this into a into a winter bag as well uh, but I'll probably be using my Rad 700 for the winter time and just use this for spring, summer and autumn I also use it with a liner it's not until you uh, really use your kit in earnest that you start to appreciate uh, the, the, the equipment you've got you know, for, it, for its quality and reliability and uh, one of those would be this head torch Without this head torch, I wouldn't be able to put set the camp up. Um, yeah, you can get cheaper head torches and know that they're just as reliable. But it's I'm pretty sure this one will be almost uh, bomb proof. Uh, and if anyone's interested, it is the uh, the Wizard Pro by Army Tech. And I've done a review on this torch, and I'll put a, a link up. It's not the cheapest though, but I think it really is good quality. Anyway, I'm liking the tent set up very very easy to set up i set it up in the dark as you saw uh dead easy to pitch uh it's got a lot of uh, people live in this tent because it's fairly affordable around about a 200 pound figure 250 pounds i've got the footprint with it i think if you've got the footprint it makes setting the tent up a, a whole lot easier um uh, and yeah it's supposed to be uh good for uh, well they, they, they can almost four season because it's got a solid inner uh, and it and the ground the uh, fly sheet comes down almost to the ground not quite to the ground uh, so it's not an official four season tent but I guess if you were if you had snow you could probably pile snow up around it maybe I don't know uh, but for someone that's on a budget and you can't afford the uh, the exceptionally high prices of say a Hilliburg for example then um, I think the uh, the Wild uh, Country Helm Compact Series are really uh, ideal tents to go with so this is what I'll be using for my uh, upcoming adventures I've got a few I've got one planned next week or the week after depending on the weather uh, and family commitments and then uh, I'm hoping to visit various places some places I've been to before some places have been new um, and this is all going to be solo I'm all going to be on my own just me uh, and um, yeah I'll be going to Dartmoor hopefully I'll be going to Brecon Beacons possibly the Lake District I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up as far as Scotland in the winter time but cool that, wouldn't that be lovely if I could but now I've got the car on the road again uh, I'm really itching to venture out and see uh, places a bit further afield and do some backpacking and wild camping. I doubt I'm going to do any great long distance hikes. I have got a slight problem with my right hip, so uh, I've got to take it a little bit easy. But you know, I should be able to get up the mountains for a few more years yet. Fingers crossed. I can hear the uh, the wind picking up outside, but the storm hasn't hit yet. So uh, just bought myself a little uh, sausage roll and uh, a few nice things to eat. I'll get the stove out later on. Got some uh, some snacks to cook up. I already ate a fairly large meal before I came out, so no need to cook anything big, but just something to uh, to fill a gap and to uh, entertain my. Uh, taste buds whilst we wait for the uh, storm Kerwin to strike to hit the camp mm. That's a point. I can measure in there measure into there uh, a bit more I think
steam. Let's let that steam out. starting to push its way across the UK, bringing heavy rain and exceptionally strong winds, which is why we have two amber wind warnings in force across southern parts. The low that is, Kieran, is going to track its way eastwards across southern parts of the UK, and it's on the southern edge of the low that we're going to see the strongest winds, initially in the southwest, but then later on as we go through there. This is the Moto Guzzi V7 Special. A bike we have been desperate to get our hands on for more than three years now and for multiple reasons it hasn't happened but today I've finally ridden this Italian masterpiece and in this video I'm going to tell you exactly what it's like. Now That's when nice I showed up at Lovely. the unit this morning the good CV7 You can hear the windsurf in the treetops getting louder there was also yeah, owls. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. There's been a lot of owl activity tonight. I love the good old tawny owl. Well, the wind's uh, picking up, the rain's just started now. I just got out to uh, to brush my teeth, have a good look, one last look round the camp, one last look round at the tent rather, make sure everything's okay. Then I'm going to get myself in and uh, batten down the hatches and uh, hopefully have a, a great time listening to the storm. So literally uh, it's just uh, gone 9 o'clock now, 9pm, and the uh, Met Office did say around about 9 o'clock it would start to rain. It started to rain about 10 minutes ago, so uh, they're on the money there, aren't they? It's starting to come down heavy. I wouldn't say uh, the winds have been that strong yet, but um, as I say, the main part body of the storm isn't really due to hit for a, a little while longer yet. Uh, so uh, I'll bring you back when we've got some tent shaking going on. <laughs> Just, uh, just gone 11 o'clock and I was uh, woken with uh, and, um, the noise of the tent being struck by a squall front. Um, so the stronger winds suddenly got here. But um, it's, it's squally, it's not like a, a continual heavy sort of wall of wind. It's just squally. The tent's done that very well. No problems whatsoever. Hardly moving. It did when the squall hit mine, but only sort of shook. Yeah, look at the tent now. Half past midnight now, and uh, probably the strongest winds so far hitting the tent. Not a lot. 
of uh, movement from the shelter. Just turn the light on. Is it now? It's gone really calm. One o'clock in the morning, and uh, it's really, uh, it's really gone calm. Rain has stopped. The tent's gone very quiet. There's uh, there's no wind hammer in it. So I wonder if we're uh, if we're on the um, passing through the eye of the storm. Maybe you know. Uh, I know it's going to attract right over this way, so it could be calm for uh, for an hour or two before it picks up again. So anyway, time is uh, one o'clock in the morning. Oh, what time is it? Oh, I've passed. I've, I've passed five. Rain started to come down again. Heavy. Just woke me up. Not much wind at the moment, though. Lovely coffee to start the day. Mm. Coffee whilst lying in bed. Can't beat it. Very, very impressed with the uh, the helm one. You can uh, you can see why it's won awards. It really is a very livable tent. That's for sure. Mm. So anyway, a cup of coffee, and I've got one of these. Um, Instant porridge oats things, but to be honest with you, I don't really like these. I just got it because it was just uh, energy. And this is a bit of a, a trial run for um, next week or the week after when I go to the mountains proper. So from what I've um, experienced of Storm Kerwin so far, um, in the uh, region of Wiltshire, 
I'm not far away from Swindon. Uh, it hasn't been too bad. We've had some strong guests, but nothing serious. A lot of rain. Um, but then there was a period in the night when it didn't rain, so uh, I think that was when the eye of the storm was, was coming across. Because I did track the, 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 the route of the, uh, the, the storm, I could see that the eye, it was a circular, uh, circular sort of formation. You could see that it was coming across the sort of central uh, part of Wiltshire area, so um, that will explain why it went very quiet in the night. Mmm, I don't like this, but I'll eat it. I've had this little um, pocket rocket for, uh, well, getting on for 13 or 14 years now. And this is the um, stove I'm taking with me when I go up on the mountains, but I've also got a backup stove. The one thing about this, about stoves, gas stoves, I don't implicitly trust them because of the potential for them to block. And also with this design, if it gets really cold, they don't uh, do so well. So I've got another stove in here. Um, it's called the Covia Spider. And this one is a, a different design. Put the light on so you can see it better. And this means that it's got a little preheating tube there. So what this means is that I can uh, invert the gas canister and feed this stove with liquid, uh, liquid gas rather than liquid fuel rather than gas um, liquid fuel from the canister the gas canister and uh, it will uh, function in, in uh, very cold weather so that's uh, uh, my, my backup but um, I prefer to use that I prefer to use this style of stove especially in this tent because first of all there's no heat getting to the ground sheet and uh, it's just convenient and easy And so that's the backup stove. And also when in the, um, the stove bag is a, a folder foil wind, windshield. So uh, if ever I got to uh, cook, a, cook something or make a brew in, out, outdoors, you know, I've got the, uh, the ability to shield the flame from the heat robbing effects of a draft. Could be a kit that. Well, that's where I that's where I stayed last night. <laughs> got that standing water just here. Got standing water just over here. And uh, I'll tell you what, 
I never ceased to become become amazed at how simple, you know, uh, it, this gear is quite cheap uh, and it, it enables me to have a fairly warm, dry and comfortable night even on a, a wet, stormy night in autumn uh, and hopefully going on into winter. So anyway, uh, make my way home now. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Let's say fingers crossed if my car's running okay and I'm hoping to uh, explore a bit further afield. Uh, it's something that I want to do uh, probably on a every sort of few weeks, maybe once a month, once every sort of five or six weeks, I want to get away and go somewhere uh, uh, which is a bit more wildernessy. Uh, taking this equipment and um, just enjoy uh, seeing the, the the world from a different from different counties rather than Wiltshire all the time. So I hope you'll join me uh, when I go on those little expeditions. Mostly they're going to be solo. Occasionally I may be joined by somebody, but uh, I think sometimes some of the best experiences I've ever had whilst out doing my camping, uh, they have really been uh, when I've been on my own, to be honest with you. Uh, although I've met some pretty fantastic people as well. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you if you have. Please leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you have got anything from this and then you'll see more of me in the future. So uh, that's it from me. See you on the next one. Bye for now.